All right, in this video I'm going to walk you through our additional services that we offer and how they make your application stronger. First of all, step one is called the Sanity Check Consultation and step two is called Strategic Essay Review. Now, step one and step two, this used to be one service. We used to sort of bundle this together into one um, big service, but we discovered that this was a suboptimal way to do things. Why is that? Well, here's what would happen. People would wait until they were finished with their essays, understandably, to send us everything, to send us their uh, resume, their career vision, and then the essays for a school. The problem is that since they get to the essays later in, in the process, that did not give us enough time to give feedback on the important resume and career vision and YMBA rationale earlier on. So first of all, you're going to need the resume way before you need the essays, right? Because you're going to use that resume for the all important networking that you're going to do to find out more about a school or to find out more about a career path. So first of all, you're going to need that resume earlier. So we decided to give feedback on the resume earlier. Similarly, if the career vision and why MBA rationale didn't make any sense, if we didn't see that career vision rationale until like a couple of weeks before the deadline, back when we bundled it together, at that point it was too late. It was almost too late to try to research a new career. You know, the we would say like, oh my gosh, this your career vision is nonsensical. Like <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. You need to go. You need to figure out quickly um, a better thing of you know a better rationale to give, and then the the candidate would be sort of scrambling at the last minute. So. Here are some examples. Um, you know, we would see essays kind of at the last minute where someone would say something like, oh, my career goal is to work in, I don't know, something impossible like private equity, right? Newsflash, if you work in engineering right now, you're not getting a private equity job out of business school. Like, you're just not. So we would see things like this in essays and we would go like, oh, no, what's happening? Um, or we would see things like, you know, I want to go to business school to become a digital marketer in the hospitality industry. And then later in that same essay or in another essay, they would talk about how they were so excited to join the consulting club. Oh, again, like, what are you doing? At this point, this person had either, you know, let's say in the case of private equity, they had spent all this time researching a career path that was impossible, or they had spent all this time networking with students in the wrong club. So in order to avoid these moments at the last minute, that's why we've broken this out in the hopes that you'll do step one. As soon as your resume, career vision, and YMBA modules are done, you can get this out of the way so that way you know that the foundation is strong. So first you'll do step one, and then later on you can do the essay reviews once the essays are in fact ready to go. So what happens in step one? Let me explain that to you just a little bit more. Um, it's important to get a sanity check because first of all, like I said before, it will help you start networking sooner and it will help you course correct in time. If there is a weakness in your rationale, in that argument for your career vision or why you need an MBA to get that, get there, um, this, there is time for you to still, you know, change paths and then, uh, make your application stronger. So here's what we do with a sanity check. First of all, we will review your resume line by line for clarity and for impact. Most admissions officers have human resources or recruiting backgrounds. They, I often say they don't know their PHP from their SQL. So if you work, no matter what you work in, right, everyone's industry has slang or terminology that an admissions officer might not understand. So we will review your resume bullet points and make sure that they are clear and understandable to an admissions officer. We will also make sure that they are described um, in the cases of maximum, for maximum impact, right? If you do have a good bullet point that we think merits staying in, uh, we will help you describe it in the, you know, in the most impactful way possible. We might also tell you stuff that's irrelevant that needs to go. Um, or we might tell you to move things around a little so that things flow a little bit better. So first we'll do the resume review. Then what we'll do is we're going to jump into your account and we're going to see what you've written in the career vision and why MBA modules. And then we're going to say, okay, does the career vision and then the YMBA, does it flow naturally based on where this person has been in the past, according to their resume, does their vision for the future make sense? So what you get at the end of it is we're going to send you a video 
that is going to walk you through all of the changes we're suggesting for your resume, right? And, and all of it and, you, it, and in it, you don't just get like an, you know, a commented document back. You can actually hear in the video our rationale for why we're doing things. So that way you can be all the more comfortable with the changes that are being made. And we will also give you commentary on whether or not that the foundation of your application, that career vision and YMBA rationale, whether or not that makes sense. And we call it the foundation because the number one reason otherwise qualified applicants get rejected is because the career vision and YMBA rationale isn't strong enough. So number one, it really is a foundation. Like if you build a house on a weak foundation, the whole thing is going to fall apart. And number two, that career vision and YMBA, you're going to use the same rationale from school to school to school to school. So if you're applying to one program or you're applying to 20, this is probably going to be the same, uh, pretty much the same from school to school. So it's a good idea to get this um, as solid as possible, as early as possible. So moving on to the strategic essay reviews, why is it important? Well, first of all, sometimes, um, you know, different, different schools are looking for different things in their candidates. They're looking for slightly different cultural fits. Um, they tend to like certain types of stories more than others. So first of all, we're going to review the essays that you've written for a school and we're going to tell you are the stories strong are you hitting all the right notes are you doing anything in in this essay that turns off the ad com is there anything here that doesn't make sense is there something here that i want more information on is there anything here that really you can kind of probably cut out this this line right here eh, it's not that important let's cut that but let's add in more here let's you know let's talk more about this or whatever we give you significant strategic feedback on the content of your essays and it's important to do this um with a professional admissions consultant because we've been doing this for many years and we have seen hundreds <laughs> of essays and so we've also seen what works and what doesn't so getting feedback um, from us can really you know we're really good at putting ourselves in the shoes of the admissions committee so getting that feedback from us um, might be really valuable for you uh, and so what we're going to do is we you will send us all of your essays for one school we will review all of them and just like with the resume we'll go through line by line and we'll we'll figure out like okay this doesn't make sense this makes sense add this remove this um, and again what you'll get at the end is a video where your essays will be up on the screen and we're going to walk you through the essays and explain to you the changes that we're suggesting and why we're suggesting the changes. So yeah, multiple suggestions on what to cut, what to keep, what to explain more, et cetera. Um, again, since the video is, it's a video, uh, you can watch it on your own schedule and you can rewind it and rewatch it as many times as possible. Um, I've heard from other Applicant Lab users in the past who have previously used traditional admissions consultants that sometimes what'll happen is they'll jump on the phone with that consultant and it'll be a phone call and so the applicant is like frantically taking notes and trying their best to keep up but then they might not remember everything that the admissions consultant said and so then they'll have to call them back and then schedule another call to go over it again now you don't have to do that with us because you're going to get a video that you can pause rewind etc um so after you've done those steps then you can move on to editing services. So we provide our editing services via another firm called Admission Auto. Um, by the way, lots and lots of other admissions consulting companies do this. A lot of other admissions consulting companies outsource the editing to third parties like Admission Auto. Um, but at least here at Applicant Lab, I am totally transparent with you about that. I'm not pretending that I'm the one doing the edits when really it's somebody else totally transparent. So here's what the admission auto editor is going to do. They're going to wordsmith the essay to make sure that it's clear and that it's within the word count limit. To be clear, just to make sure that this, we're, we're all on the same page here, the admission auto editor is not going to provide strategic feedback on your essay. They're not going to say, does it make sense? They're not going to say, gee, this story really isn't the sort of story that MIT Sloan goes for. They're not that kind of feedback. That's what we do in the strategic essay review. In this case, they are not providing any sort of strategic feedback. They are literally just wordsmithing it to make sure that it's polished, that it's clear, that the grammar is correct, etc. Uh, 
now you might be asking yourself, wow, why are the prices here for the admission auto edits so much less expensive than what I've seen elsewhere for similar services? And the reason is that I've been able to negotiate special prices with them because what happened is that if somebody goes through Applicant Lab, all the modules first, and then sends admission auto their resume or their essays, their, their materials are so strong that the admission auto editors don't have to work as hard. So this is now, we're now several years into this partnership and Admission Auto has realized that, hey, wait a minute, we don't have to work as hard on Applicant Lab clients stuff. So since we don't have to work as hard, we're gonna charge them a little bit less. So that is why uh, one of the requirements for being able to avail yourself of this service is that you do have to have gone through the modules first. And then finally, if you are invited to interview, we do offer mock interviews. Um, it's important because the interview is the single most important part of your application. Uh, and it's important to do a practice interview because you know, you never sound as good out loud as you think you do in your head. And what I mean by that, and I'm not picking on you personally, this is human nature, we all do this. We all think to ourselves like, oh, if I'm asked a question about a time I failed, I'm just gonna talk about that time I did blah, blah, blah. And then, we, and then we get there and then realize to our horror <laughs> the stuff that's coming out of our mouths is not at all as smooth or as sophisticated or as clear as what we were thinking it would be. So practicing your interview answers out loud. I have this advice in the interview module. I'm going to repeat it again here. Even if you don't book a mock interview with us, no problem. But please practice your practice your practice answers out loud and record yourself and listen to yourself uh, because trust me it's there's a there's a disconnect usually uh, until you've gotten some practice under your belt so here's what we do we will schedule a time together to do a video conference uh, before that video conference starts we research a school's questions to make extra sure that we're asking you the most relevant ones for that school then we conduct a mock interview from start to finish and then immediately after the mock interview is done like right there with you still on the line we will then give you feedback on each of your answers so while you're doing the mock interview we are frantically writing notes on what you've said how to improve it don't say this do say that change how you've said this etc cetera, etc cetera. Um, and so then we give you that feedback question by question immediately after the mock interview is done and then we work interactively with you right there on the line to say like okay well do you have another story or so tell me what really happened because it wasn't clear to me when you when you answered the question I wasn't really sure what was happening um, so that is what happens in that session so at the end what you get you get two videos the first video is of just the interview. The second video is of the feedback session. And you're also going to get a little Excel spreadsheet that has the approximate time of when you answered each question or when the feedback for each question was given. So that way you don't have to rewatch the entire video if you don't want to. If you're like, oh man, I, I, what, what did she say I should say for my failure answer again? Uh, you know, you can skip in the video. Um, so that way you don't have to you know, rewatch the whole thing. It'll help you sort of skip around to make it more efficient. So I hope that this overview has helped explain the differences between some of these different services. I know that this is different from how other companies do it, um, but we truly believe that this is the most efficient and effective way to get this feedback to you also at a way that is uh, much more price conscious as compared to other firms. If you have any questions at all, let us know. Email support at applicantlab.com and we're looking forward to hearing from you. Thanks.